Hi, I'm Randy Reed, editor of the Edison Report in Designing Lighting, and I have the privilege of being here with Ann Schiffers, the CEO of Floss. Ann, welcome. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for joining us today. Thank and you. we only interview exhibitors at Light Fair. You are a rather late entrant. I am. Indeed, and, I am. And why is that? Well, I have to say, we were debating it for quite some time, and it was lingering in my mind, and I said to the marketing team, I think we should do it. Okay. Oh, hold off, I think maybe we should wait, it's probably going to get canceled. Okay, right. So, uh, you know, a couple days went by, a couple more days went by, and finally I said, guys, I'm pulling the plug, we're going. Because Lightfair has been there for us for so many years. And when, you know, when push comes to shove, I said, let's be there for Lightfair. Good for you. Let's break open. Yep, and uh, we are hearing about a lot of attendees coming. So okay. it is kind of breaking, and the people that I've talked to that were fence sitters have said that they are coming. Okay, so I want to learn a little bit more about Floss. I will tell you that a month ago, I spent a couple hours in your showroom in Milan, and I was very impressed by what I saw. Now, you have a showroom here in New York. We do. We, do. we have one on Green Street in Soho and we are opening up what we call a D-Studio, where we're going to bring in all of our brands that are under Design Holding, which is our private equity okay. group. Okay, okay, right. So we're gonna have a mix of a couple brands. We're going to have Floss, we're going to have Louis Poulsen, we're going to have B&B Italia Furniture, and Arc Linea Kitchens, all in one space, about 15,000 square feet, uh, right okay. above the B&B showroom on 31st and Madison, okay. which we hope you'll come see. I will, I will, because I got to tell you, I fell in love with what I saw in Milan. Uh, okay. Were you there for Salone? I was there, yes, for Salone, Same. for Euro Luce. Yeah. And, uh, you know, again, it was a smaller show yeah. than uh, what was expected, but it's still a good show. And I really got to spend a lot of time. And that's the beauty of Light Fair, because it is smaller this year. I think yeah. we're all going to be able to spend more time with each other yeah. and learn a lot more about some products. Yeah, I think so it's tell exciting. our audience a little bit about some of your products. So the mystery to floss is yes. that everybody knows from the 1960s that we have table lamps and we have beautiful decorative pendants and floor lamps. But the best kept secret for Floss is that we have an architectural line. We acquired Antares out of Spain in 2012. Okay. And we also have an outdoor line named Ares out of Italy, A-R-E-S. Okay. And we have a custom house out of Long, Long Island City called Lucas Lighting. So there are four brands, which was right. the big mystery. When I yeah, came on I to be the Floss CEO, I thought, oh, great, decorative. Oh, wait, right. now I understand there are four companies. So it's okay. uh, hit the ground running. It's a lot of products outdoor launched during COVID in the US, February of 2020, right before COVID. Uh, so it's been a tough one off the ground. So I hope to For get sure. the word out. I brought some products to share. And okay. the architectural line, beautiful, beautiful track systems, beautiful downlights, beautiful, um, systems, wall lights, up lights, really comprehensive product line that I think needs just more exposure. So you mentioned these four brands that you've purchased in their locations. Where is the majority of your manufacturing? Italy. Okay, and how are you dealing with the supply chain issues? So that is everyone's challenge. Um, what we just, today's our big day. We just unloaded a huge crate, 40 foot long. We have another one coming tomorrow. Okay. So, uh, so we, a container. we are, yeah, exactly. Foot container. We've got containers. We've got a 40 foot container. We are, we have a location in Syosset that we bring our products into and store them. Okay. So all of the decorative products we keep on site and we just keep revitalizing. If we sure. have to use air freight, we, we use air freight. If we have to rent a truck and drive it across country because of all the holdup at the, at the ports, right. because we just don't have the labor to unload, you know, all, all the vessels, then we, we put our own trucks in place and, and, and commute throughout the country. So it's been tricky. You know, our lead yeah. times have definitely crept up a little bit more like 12 weeks when it used to be more like eight. Right. So um, for some the of the industry. products, for some As of the products. The yeah. So how, you know, you talk about architectural lighting, how important is the lighting designer in your business? Very important. I mean, it's, it's a love of mine. It's my first, first, uh, first position in, in the lighting world. Uh, so the lighting designer, I would say pays the most attention to our architectural line. Um, I would sure. say the architect and the interior designer pay the most attention to our decorative line. Okay. And I would say the lighting designer and the architect pay the most attention to our custom line. Okay. And then outdoor Got is it. still kind of finding its way. But you're new in outdoor, you just We're launched new. it. So yeah. right, who is your rep here in New York? So we have SLS. We just okay. hired sure. him for the first time, our first rep. 
ever. So ever. you've always been direct? We've always been one person, two people selling direct in New York. I did not know that. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you. And uh, I, that's the yeah. model that I believe in. I agree. So, so Anne, what type of projects are your products used in? I love the question. I would say hospitality. I would say okay. residential. And I would say contract. Those How are much three residential? Biggest. How much residential? I'd say 40%. Okay. And that has been booming lately? On fire. Absolutely on fire. We have uh, a showroom in Soho, as I mentioned, and that is the best place to see a lot of the products. I actually did a big upgrade in January where I put in the architectural products, the outdoor products, and of course, all the decorative lives there. So you can basically go in there and fit out with your designer a full space. So how do you go to market in residential? So we are e-commerce. Interesting. We uh, have our own web store. Okay. We have some of our agents and dealers. We have retailers that sell our residential line. Okay. So, so it's a broad mix. We're it sounds on, like. you know, Y Designing, YDG. They help okay. us out as well because they have a huge following. Okay. So we have a lot of synergies with our sister and brother brands. You know, right. the B and B Italia open stores and Louis Poulsen. We partner together. So are the there focus designers is good. that will design furniture, kitchens, and lighting? Yes. All in one job? Yes. So what we're creating for that audience and for those designers is what I, I'm calling it the, the, what we're calling the D Studio on 31st and Madison, is a place to come in, it's a custom room, to sit down with all the brands and design from the bottom up, every single detail. So lighting, furniture, kitchens, everything. Because we've seen jobs where they have great furniture and horrific lighting. Yeah. And then they've got other jobs will have great lighting and bad furniture. Yeah. So uh, it's you nice guys to put your fingerprint on all of it. Right. Kind of like really Frank Lloyd, Lloyd Wright used to do. So, yeah. Okay. Well, Ann, it's been a pleasure to meet you. you. I'll stop Thank by you. your booth and Thank I want to you. take a look at your product. Thank you. All Such right? a pleasure. Thank Thanks you. for your time.